Let's adapt this romper to fit my feeding tube so I can wear this to bed and run feeds. I'm just gonna pin where I'm gonna need to cut a hole in it. So my tube is right here. So I think I want it to the side. I want it to be discreet as possible. So we're just gonna YOLO right here. That's how I sew things. I really do not care. I just wing it all and then I get mad at myself if it doesn't work out, so yeah. Okay, I changed out of it because obviously I gotta sew it and my tummy does hurt today, so this is fitting. I'm gonna attach this buttonhole. I have the manual here because I've never sewn a buttonhole on this machine. And honestly, this thing looks freaking scary. So this is my extension and this is a button. I'm gonna put this one in here and I just hope that this one is like big enough. I want to be able to fit it this part through it because it's gonna be easier if I hook it to myself first and then push it through. What the freak is this thing? I'm just gonna turn on my machine. I'm gonna be smart and practice because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, hold up. We are changing the needle to a stretch needle since this is knit fabric. Okay, we have a stretch needle in here now and then I selected this one, which is this one and it's four knits and it's buttonhole for lightweight knit and it sews like it double rather than single and i want it to be secure since i'm going to be like you know shoving my extension through it so <laughs> secure and we're going to test it on this fabric just ignore that that's absolute fail let's roll Okay, maybe we need to just go to the super delicate one. Also, it might be this fabric. So let me go find a different pack. Practice fabric. Honestly, I don't know if this is any better, but we're gonna try. Otherwise, we're literally just gonna have to yellow it and I'm just gonna have to try not to cry if it goes wrong. Is it done? I think it's done. There is now a hole, and it helps that this fabric is knit because knit does not fry. So, yay! Oh shoot, what did I do? Oh shoot, no, no, no. Wait, no way, no way. It fits. Stop it right now. Let's roll. Only one layer going under because you don't want to sew both sides. Moment of truth. Okay, just three, two, one, let's go. I was holding my breath the entire time. She's stuck. Oh my god. I think I just messed it. Is this is a sad, sad time. I am actually might cry a bit, but we're gonna try not to cry because we're gonna fix it and it's gonna be fine. If you see, I have this hole and it started at the buttonhole, but then it very much did not go on the buttonhole. Let's see what we're working with. I'm gonna have to reinforce the edge if I end up going with this. I mean, it can fit. I am just gonna stitch around it. But in theory, with other clothing, I feel like it would be like way easier to do a buttonhole, but this fabric is just... I am just gonna do a zigzag stitch and it will kind of like act as what was supposed to be a buttonhole. Okay, I actually do not feel like crying at all anymore because I, with a zigzag stitch that I just did, it kind of acted like the top of the buttonhole anyways. So it worked out, let me show you. Here's the hole, and I probably should reinforce this, but honestly, my stomach hurts really bad right now, so we're not just gonna ignore that. And then up here is where I had to fix it, and then this honestly is raw edge, so I feel like I should probably zigzag stitch that too. Guys, I kid you not though, my tummy hurts so bad. Like, I don't know what is happening, but it hurts. Mm -hmm. All right. It works. There's a hole right there. I mean, does it look like the best? Like, no, like it literally looks like it just chopped a hole, which I suppose is fine because like, who am I trying to impress anyways? All that matters is it works and I can wear this to bed and I can wear it lounging around the house. So yay for that. Success. Let's go. This is my new favorite pajamas. Catch me wearing this every single day. Okay. Bye.